Okay, I just got done screwing up the intake. So I worked to raise as much as I could, knocked off a few high spots. I think I made it worse. Very delicate. Okay, best enough for you guys not even being near that. Okay, so the this is what the exhaust port looks like right now. So you can see that real rough as a cob finish they had, and not very even. You can see where the mill cut cut in there a nice radius into it. I mean, it's a straight round hole. So I got to blend all this together and make it look like it's supposed to be round in the port. <laughs> all right, you can put that where it belongs. Okay, that doesn't cut nothing. It's actually doing good right there. Okay, so we're going to use our the meaty one. There we go. This is a sizing one here. <clears throat> Roll right around the seat and sizes it. First I size the circle, see how this one sized on this side. And then I come over here and try to make it where it flows from here to here in an even line without going in and out like this. And you want a pretty good flow right through the valve gas where most of your flow is going to be. So right now it's high through here. This doesn't really cut very good, it's too fine. You get a sizing bit. Mm. Take much. I'm gonna make your finger will fit in there real nice and easy. Basically, you're trying to square it out a little bit. You see how my finger low goes in there almost all straight now? It's mm -hmm. not going like this like it was. And the cutter goes in the same thing. See, it doesn't do a lot of the side to side mm -hmm. thing. Okay, so now you look at it from this angle. From this angle. See, it looks like it goes straight through now. You got a trough. Oh, yeah. There's a runway to go through there now. Drainage ditch, whatever you want to call it. Now we come back with a smoothing one and see what, how much we screwed it up. through here. Uh-huh. I'm going down until I start at the seat. And once again it makes a nice place for the air to go straight through. You want two troughs, one here and one on this side. 
because that's where 90% of your flow is going to be. A little bit comes over the top, but not a lot. This goes down these sides. At least that's what I think. I'll go with that. Yeah. That was a run better, so whatever. I don't care. If you can see it, it's going to flow air through it. <laughs> I think the rain's back. Good, it's going to be back in a minute then. <laughs> Alright, so now we got a good line of sight through that. Let's pop over the other side and see how bad it is. This one I can't get my fingers through the port very well, so it doesn't make me feel very good. So here's my finger. I want air to go through. It kind of gets bound up right here, see? Then it gets free again. So that's your choke points right here. So I need to open that area up, but not the short side here. Keep this radius. Don't touch it. This right where my finger is. we got to go deeper, just like we did on the other mm -hmm. side, to let air flow. It's all right, Scooby. Scooby's back. Oh, yeah, he's shaking. Are you shaking? Scooby don't like that rain. You'd think he'd be used to it by now. We got a lot of rain this year. No, he hasn't. All right, so where's my smoothing bit? Yeah, that's my smoothing bit. Smooth some of this area right out of here. smooth transition through there now. You see how the rough and grinding is? So now my finger kind of goes through pretty evenly. Still up against the guide, but it fits in there. And it rolls right across. And you still got this radius up here. I haven't really done too much to get rid of it yet. And I've opened this whole area up where my finger was, so now the sides the ports will dig it through here. So you come right down the seat and you just go straight right through it. That's just what you want. I can go back and look and see if I got the same thing on this side when I come back on this side. If not, we'll make it bigger like this. Alright, so we, and this will blend in pretty good from the other side, it feels like. So I could probably go a little bit deeper, but I don't think so. I think we'll keep it about that. It's a street bike. It's not a race bike, so smaller is better. I just cut it out to seat size. So now you can see where to cut the seat size. So now I go back down below and the size that with the bore on the bottom. 
nice little bit high right there. So, so you sneak up on a little bit of time and eventually you get what you need. If you hog it out all at once, you usually cut too much and it's not the right spot. Right on top of that camera too, so you better get the camera. Is that bad spot? Yeah. Over there. Well, you remember that pan was laying over here? Yeah, that's kind of where it was at. This one got moved. This one moved over here. Ah. Uh, right there. If you look at that light up there, it looks off that fluorescent above your head. Uh, side. Now we know what the hell we want. Let's see if we got that on this side. And yep, it's already in there. All that cutting I did before. It's actually a bit deeper on this side, which is a little more. Okay, so I'm going to do a little smoothing on this side now. That has a nice arc going through it. It's a little bit more clearance, I think. It's a little cut more up under here than the other one was because this was pre-cut. Pretty heavy up under here already. Then what this side is. Can't see it from this angle. Okay, now I just gotta go on the other side and blend it in on the exhaust side. We haven't been on this side yet. How bad is it? Mm -hmm. I can look at this one and see how bad. <laughs> it looks like that. How does it look? So do they? So unlike the uh, aftermarket heads, this one goes straight through. If you look at it, Am I too high if I can't tell. You can see it. So the exhaust flow goes straight out, right through. No dog legs, no stupid ass crap like S and S Harley does their stuff. Taiwan Teddy heads. Yeah, the ones that all copied Harley ports that suck. You think, <coughs> you think they would have made a head correctly instead of copying a pile of crap? But. Only STD makes the heads where they have ports that are actually in line. Mm. When you can buy it. I don't know if they're available right now or not. We got your set when we still could buy them. Yeah, that was what? At least probably three years ago? Yeah. This here doesn't look too bad. Got a little smoothing on it. It's fairly straight. A few whoop de doos here and there, but not too bad. So, 
と。I think I want a spot here that I care about. You have to look at the camera. See where I've been grinding? Mm -hmm. A little bit of a hump right there. No, I can see it. I'm trying to knock it out. I got tired of playing with it, so I'm going to get it Feel it, it right there, yeah. This will get it out. <laughs> as long as you don't put anything else in there, you'll be fine. See, these will dig in on the back side over here. Uh-huh. Come on it out. Come back to this one. Move now. It's not going up and down like it was. There you go. Right, right there. there. Yep, right there. Now you got it. Yeah, trying to. Down there, rough ass finishes there a little bit. So, you want to keep this lip in here because that's what exhaust pipe sticks in. Mm -hmm. So, if you cut it all the way out to here, it hits the end of the exhaust pipe. So, you want to keep that lip. So, I used a big cutter when I cut this. That side right there is what they use there. The big end. That's aggressive, at least it finished like that. <laughs> yeah, where's my uh, finer cutters at? I'm trying to smooth. This one's pretty aggressive too. So. It'll make holes real quick. Okay, I'll get a dull one out. Pretty good. Pump's gone. That was in there. Mm -hmm. Didn't put a big ledge in there to flow over yet. <laughs> let's, let's drop it down this angle here. Work on the... That's rough. Jeez. See how rough that is over there? Mm. Yeah. The camera's not seeing it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You see all the ripples? Smooth, huh? Yeah. That's smooth as a baby butt. With hemorrhoids. <laughs>
Let's go deep black mark, dark gray marks in there. Those are the holes. I'm just trying to I knock off the high spots so at least the air will flow over the holes. Get right down in here. It's hard to get to. Very small one. and deep like. Yeah, I'll come over to the camera and see. I'll be able to get it all through there and make a nice transition mm. right up here. Yeah, had like a high spot I couldn't get to. But you got to be careful if you can also make a big deep spot. That made a big difference. Every now and then you need to have a long cutter. Hmm. Right, go over this side. You see what you just did from this angle? Oh, geez, I just screwed that all up. Just <laughs> yep. that tight spot all through there. Look, look, looks pretty good. Even. Mm -hmm. You did it from this angle. Did we just cut through all through that? You didn't do any damage on this side. A lot of times you do damage on this side. When you bring this back up like that. Rarely do you have that happen like that. Yeah, that definitely helped 100 percent. I bet you that picked up some flow numbers right there because that little that little high spot was in there. Not pretty. Okay, what do we do? We did this some angles, so I could go on this side. See what we got on this side. Now, we're going to have that same thing on this one. See it in there? Mm-hmm. Right in that transitional area right there. And this is pretty rough, too, because I haven't done this yet. See how it goes like this? Yeah. Here, doing that side. Nope. She's holding. Didn't change. 
those high spots. Whoa. Supposed to be using that. Well, I gotta see. Let's look through the camera and see it. <laughs> I don't think that camera can really see it either. Though. We can see just fine. Yeah, I guess you can see a little bit. So I just took off the high spots and you see all the low spots in there. It's a lot smoother. <laughs> Definitely got a lot of craters in it. But... I was taking pictures. Take pictures from the video on YouTube. You gotta take pictures of it live. So anyway, I cut it right there. Just like I did on the other side. That's that area you can never get to very well. The same process happened on the intake, though. Same spot. Going back and forth, back and forth. Maybe we should just use a right grinder. See why I like small grinders? Suck them in there for you. Do it right. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought you, I thought you meant the bench, not the head. Oh, oh there was a drip. Same thing. You got nailed finally? Yeah. You got that hat on. Basically nothing. It's starting to cool off in here. Oops, I hit the off button. Alright, so all that little cutting I did was all right under there. Let me do that little poker I had. It disappeared. I got my big poker. Yeah, I don't see it. There it is over here. So that grinding I did was right. In this general area right here. About to there to there. That's what I ground on right there. That was it. And that little area is what keeps your finger from slipping right through like you want to. So you got a nice good radius around here, what you want. Radius from this direction, no hole, go straight out. That's what you're looking for. That's ideal. Now if you can make the intake do that, it'll be even better. Because these have the same thing to a high right into here. They're pretty good, but they're it could be better. It's the same thing though, is it really worth screwing with it? Get a little extra out of it. Debatable. Oh, let me take a look at them. To hell, I got enough better to do. Of course, you can very easily screw it up too, so. Alright. So, do I screw that up with the, the, the tool or leave it alone? I think we'll leave it alone. Yeah, yeah. Not worth doing it. 
Okay, what about the combustion chamber? Let me cut that away. Yeah. Is it rocking a bit? <laughs> Do I want to? <laughs> is it a little oop or is there a big oop? That one's gone. This one isn't gone. <laughs> well, do you want to have that uh, launching ramp in there or you want me to just get rid of it? Just get rid of it. It looks like a compression though, you know. Yeah. Beautiful. Compression just dropped by five points. The horse power went up by ten. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. If you put a valve in there so you don't hurt the seat, you can't get in there, so hmm. learn how to use your grinder. <laughs> before and after. Wow. So, so I got it smoothed up. And this side over here is rough as a cob through here and then also got the big lips in it. Hits me right in the face because I'm trying not to block the camera. <laughs> we have a spark plug here we gotta worry about.
Don't wear safety glasses. Don't get in the line of fire of the chips hitting you in the face. There's no chips in my face, is there? <laughs> Just everywhere else, not your face.
That's a big high spot there. Funny you can see it in different lighting, you know, different angles. Yeah, that's the last spot I didn't cut away. Everything else is blended. I don't know if you can see in the angle. You can see how the chamber goes like that. It's a high spot. Oh, why you missed that? Probably because yeah. poor light wasn't on. Oh, the light? Is blaming on the light? Not on you. There you go. If I turn it this way. Hey. Oh, I put it up there. I can see. Oh, that's yeah. a good yeah. yeah. Sight's overrated. Let's go by feel. Pretty much that's what you do. crap but it's better. Okay. Look at that. Should go float in. That's more better. I didn't deburr the spark plug hole though. Why didn't you deburr the spark plug hole? What's up with that? Well you had your tool in there. Oh that's all right. It was in the way wasn't it? better? I think it'll run way better. Oh, jeez. Lower that compression run. down. Look, take how much, the horsepower. look how much metal we took out of that combustion chamber. We dropped that by a lot. I feel so bad about that. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> yeah, look at that. Wow. Yeah, now when the valve opens up, it'll flow. We got deeper in this catch right here, though. Special tool. Uh, yeah. Called the deep tool. Look at that. That's how you keep your fingers. Yeah. Like Work that inner detail. primary was getting you. A little finish detail work there. Look at all the chips I got everywhere. So now you got a sample and you got to finish it up, right? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's your turn. No, no, I, I think I'll just leave that to you. I got a sample. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll sample it by looking at it. How's that one look? Looks like it needs some work. What, about two hours worth? Uh-huh. These are already ported. Yeah. Yeah, what, I thought that was supposed to be ported. How can you spend two hours doing nothing? Yeah, I don't think that made much difference. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Can I put any scrapes and scratches on it for you? No. What angles is that? I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not looking for any imperfections. I'm just looking at your fine quality oh. work. You're about as chrome. I didn't put that mark there. The other guy did it. Am I Scooby? Yeah, there you go. Scooby did it. He's scared right now. 
and he's probably hiding in his bed. Or he's not in here. I'm surprised. No. I'm surprised he's hiding. He probably on top of the gasket sets. That's where he's hiding now. <laughs> he does. He gets on top of all the gasket sets. <laughs> Is he really? Yeah, I don't know how he even gets in there, but he jumps in there. Jumps up in there. Squash them all down and slivers on in there. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get to him at all. He's buried in the corner. <laughs> All right. 100 pounds. I did the exhaust last. Let's do the exhaust. Okay, now that I know what I'm doing, I'm going fast, right? That's right. Of course, this is where I screw up by doing it fast. Yeah. I always cut too deep <laughs> when I go fast. All right. Let's see here. So I know what needs to be done now. I've got experience now. Put this in the tank and clean it? Uh, yeah, it needs to get clean. Well, which, one? which one do I got to go in first? Right Dirty one first? No, right there. First one. Right up there. This one? Yeah, just blow the door up. Open the door and blow out. Only go about halfway, you're going to get wet. You get wet anyway. I should have started over. We're going to start over.